guys welcome back to my channel so I wanted to jump on and show you guys a haul that I did um, on Joann's they had a sale and I took advantage I had been eyeing the peaceful heart collection it was kind of on the fence whether I should get it or not I liked it I thought it was pretty but there were so many other collections that I still wanted to get that I think I loved more and then um, a few weeks ago, I had jumped on Joann's and I realized that they had the collection on sale. And I was like, okay, that's a no-brainer because I knew I liked it. But, you know, I just didn't feel like spending all of the money that I would have to spend on it. But for the prices that I got on Joann's, I was like, no, for sure, I'm going to get it because it is pretty. And so I picked up pretty much everything that Joann's had except like the washi tape the I don't know if they have the stamps but I picked everything up that Joann's had so I will start and go through the different bits and pieces so first of all um, they had the little pretty mirror acrylic stickers I'm just showing you guys my jammies um, these are super pretty very pretty so I picked up one pack of those and then I got the sticker, the stickers. And these are the stickers that it comes with on the back. Some florals. Looks like some more sentiments, some more florals. So they should be really pretty to just back up on some cardstock to make them a little, um, a little thicker. But they look like they're like a nice thick quality anyway. And use as like ephemera pieces or what have you. I love the florals and they're a nice size too. So those are pretty. So I picked that up as well. I got some of these um, puffy stickers with the leaves and the little flower pieces. I'm thinking I should have picked up another pack of those now up one pack of the 12 by 12 the 6 by 12 sticker sheet and like the little floral cluster is really pretty the little rainbow this reminds me of an old Heidi swap um, print many of you have probably already seen this collection but it's new to me so really cute elements really different I like like the mustard and the pink and like the sage it's pretty so I have one pack of those then I got um, just trying to prevent all of the glare I think I may have picked up yes I did I picked up two packs of the fl the florals so it just comes with like a bunch of leaves and different flowers for you to kind of assemble on your own and I love florals. I love florals a lot. So whenever a collection has like like just a floral pack, I typically tend to get two. So I picked up two of those. And it comes with 50 pieces. And you can cluster them as you like. So I got two of those. And then I got one of the ephemera packs. Um, and these are the pieces that comes in the ephemera pack. These ones have the gold foiling, and these are just some of the regular the other pieces. I'm thinking now that I probably should have gotten two of my packs. I got those. Um, Joann's did not have the thickers, so I had ordered these on scrapbook.com. And I showed these in um, one of my other hauls. So really pretty. Today is a good day. Really pretty stickers. And yeah, I'm excited to see what I feel inspired to make with this collection. I've seen um, Alicia from Love Letter Generation make some really pretty things. So she also inspired me or motivated me to want to get the collection because I was like, you know what, it's really pretty. Sometimes you have to see someone craft with it and then you're like, yeah, I do like it. <laughs> So I got the 6x6, six six, the 6x8 six paper pad, and um, 
and the 12 by 12 and I'm gonna go ahead and show you I love this it says I'm kind I'm smart I am brave I'm strong I'm confident I'm grateful I'm capable I am loved I am enough so I, I definitely loved like the really positive messages and that's one of the things I like about her um, she had a collection maybe th two or three collections back where she like it was like a lot of like sentiments like get well thank you love you friend like th that type of thing and so she tends to do that a lot with her crafting and I like that it's a pretty paper I like that one love this print it's like a peach ivory and pink this one here has like the yoga girls the Pilates girls cute colors are muted and it looks like they gave me two of those by mistake then there's this green one like a sage color this one here oh I like the little birds this one's just a plain navy with these little houses on it oh she's um this seems to be like you know Maggie Holmes has her signature like Jen Hadfield has like butterflies there's another collection of hers that has like a butterfly paper too that I like this wood grain it's pretty I love that pink one like mauve this looks very crepe paperish so does this I like the rainbows for sure and the little suns that looks crepe paperish too <laughs> it reminds me of Marigold. I'm um, not Marigold, Market Square. It's pretty. And then you have some like two by two um, little cut apart. That's cute. This little polka dot with like the pink and the peach. Love that paper. So pretty. I like how it has a mixture of like dark tones, but then at the same time some really light ones. So it balances out because I wouldn't want everything being too dark. Pretty, pretty koi fish. I like this. This has like a retro look, a retro look feel to it. This reminds me of like Buenos Dias toned down. <laughs> I like the lined paper. It's pretty as well. So a lot of really pretty um, papers here that I think would be nice too, and she does the little houses a lot too, that I think would be nice to mix in, that you can mix in with other collections too. I love this paper. And this has little sentiments, and it says blessed, grateful, thankful, thoughtful, giving. Very pretty. So I am definitely happy that I picked this up being able to see it in person and like looking at all of the different elements i am definitely really happy that i picked it up and i cannot wait to play with it i have so many collections that i need to play with i have her previous collection before this one that was gifted to me by judith in a swamp and that's really pretty too and i, I felt like that would be nice for like fall crafting because it had like a little turkey and stuff and I haven't even I haven't even started crafting with that. I have so many things. But you know, we always have to get the other collection that came out because it's just so pretty. And I think after this birthday haul that I've done and been doing, I think that I'm gonna go on a major no spend and start using my stash because I have a lot of new things to play with and I want to actually make pretty things with them so we'll just flip through this very quickly but it's pretty much the same as the um, the 6x8 so you don't have to go through it in, in full but really pretty oh I don't remember oh no I did see that I remember the birds so yeah I picked up like I said I picked up this collection from Joanne's I really did not spend a whole lot on it. It was really inexpensive because I think at the time, like, the paper pads were 40% off. And I think, like, the stickers and the embellishments were on discount as well. And then I was able to use a coupon and get, like, 
$2 shipping. So I want to say that I, yeah, I probably spent less than $40 getting everything here with it. Yeah, everything here pretty much, which I think is a steal of a deal. So if you guys enjoyed this video, enjoyed or thought that this collection is really pretty, Joanne still has it in stock online. Make sure just keep keep an eye out because they're always, they're kind of like Hobby Lobby. I feel like they put stuff on sale. Um, they alternate the weeks that they put like paper pads on sale, like the embellishments on sale. So just keep an eye out so that you can grab some of this really pretty collection for a great deal. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Bye.